Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a Magic Review. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for being here. How's it going? How is it going? We don't, we don't get to talk, right? Or at least I talk a lot. Uh, I, I could listen, you know, I, if you guys comment down below, whenever you comment, I try to comment back, right? I try to create a dialogue, create community. Um, it's raining right now where I am. It's been really cold, actually. It's been really cold uh, where I live for the past couple weeks, but it's winter, it's winter. So that's, that's what you'd expect. Today, we're gonna look at another trick from mentalvoyage.com. It's another trick from Paul Carnazzo. Been doing uh, a lot of reviews for him because I like him. He's one of my favorite uh, mentalist creators. I mentioned in the past that uh, depiction is one of my everyday carries. Love that trick. I thought I did a review for it. Some people were asking about it because I mentioned it in the last video. I've, I've done a review for this. I'm, I'm sure I have. So you should go find that review. Uh, and yeah. Because, I, I, like I said, it's an EDC. I, I carry it with me everywhere. Today, we're going to look at Coin Cage. What is Coin Cage? Uh, do, you remember, um, do you remember the crystal coin cage? Do you remember that trick? So it's a little trick uh, that you'd see sometimes in, in magic kits. Really inexpensive. It was a red plastic frame. And you stuck a quarter in there. And then on either sides, there was a little piece of see-through plastic. And then you rubber banded it together. And then you'd say, look, the, cor the quarter is trapped inside, it can't come out, right? And then you'd cover it with a cloth or something and then the quarter would slide out. And the solution was really, really super easy, right? Really super easy to do. And so when I saw a coin cage, I figured, oh, it's gonna be something similar to that. And I'm sure Paul got his inspiration from Crystal uh, Cage, but this is done with screws, <laughs> okay? So it's literally a, a, a silver plastic frame, another silver plastic frame, and it's screwed together. So is it well made? I mean, it's very well made. Uh, you get two little silver pieces that really trap that quarter. You can really see that there's no way for that quarter to get out. And then it's screwed together. So again, 3D printed. Uh, obviously, Paul has a 3D printer and it's his favorite toy. He loves to play with it. So uh, you're going to get that. You're going to get the little uh, coin cage for it. And then you're going to get the tutorial. Tutorial is 12 minutes long. So is it what I thought? No, it's not what I thought. I thought it'd be similar to the crystal coin cage, and it's not. It's not the same. The solution's not the same. So the trick looks the same on the surface, and perhaps any spectator who knows how that is done, they might think, oh, I know how to do this, but they wouldn't. What's the overall quality and production value of the video? You got Paul talking to a stationary camera. He's in his living room, and you do get some close-ups when you need it. As far as what's taught on the video, like I said, it's not long, 12 minutes. He demos it for you. He talks about how to assemble it the first time, because it is screws, you gotta put it together. He'll talk to you about how to execute the effect and how to do a display of it. So you need to display it with the quarter in and with the quarter out, convincingly. And then he gives you a full routine again from an exposed magician's view. Pocket space, it is very small. It's not much bigger than a quarter. Now I will say, there is another element to it. I don't want to mislead you and think that this is the only part of it. There is another part that the spectator should never see. But how are the angles? The angles are really good. Everything happens within the palm of your hand. And I would argue along with that, uh, as far as skill level goes, you should be comfortable with palming and wringing things in and ditching them. Um, not necessarily lapping them. You're not ditching them that way or putting them in your pockets. Just doing palming in a way where you're able to switch things out convincingly. Can it be inspected? It can be. In fact, that's part of the routine. So between each stage, Paul hands the items to the spectator, gives them the empty cage and the quarter. They can inspect it. He comes back, he puts the quarter in, hands it back and says, now inspect it again. And they can see that they can't get the quarter out. How much setup and reset is there? Um, there's really a one-time set up and then after that, uh, you're finished. There really isn't a reset because the trick doesn't need to reset. Positives, it's a fun little puzzle, especially if you've liked Crystal Cage in the past, but then thought, this is just a kid's trick, right? I don't carry this, it's a kid's trick, it's too simple. It's been exposed on the internet. I'm not doing this. But 
you like the premise, especially if you're a coin magician, right? It's a fun little thing to keep in your pocket and you could maybe do a coin trick and then just say, well, you know, th those were some good coins, but I do have some bad coins. You know what I do with bad coins? I put them in jail. And I have a little, you ever seen this? It's a little pocket uh, jail for coins. It's a, little, it's a little coin prison, right? But then you could talk about how your coins are so bad that they escape, right? And I, I just made that up off the top of my head. So I'm sure you could come up with something better. The one negative I had to this was that it is not self-contained. Like I said earlier, there is another element. So where Crystal Cage is all self-contained, there's nothing else to it, right? It, it is what it is. With this, there is more apparatus that isn't seen. And technically, um, it would end dirty. It would end dirty if you didn't ditch. So is it worth your money? It's 30 bucks, $30. And like I said, you get all of that. Uh, and everything comes to you from Mental Voyage, Century Magic, uh, Paul Carnazzo. And uh, yeah, don't just take my word for it. Don't, don't take my word for it. Make sure that you read the ad copy thoroughly. I'm sure if you had questions, you could always ask Paul your questions directly. He's very friendly, he would answer you. And then go check out the forums and see what other people have to say. All right, so that's the end of my video and I hope I've helped you out. And this is the time in the video where you can help me out. You can click like and subscribe and follow. Click all the buttons, that'll help me out a lot. Especially if you think I've ever saved you money or uh, steered you towards or away from a product uh, that you were thinking about. When I look at the YouTube stats, only half of you ever subscribe. And it's really easy and it's really quick. Just click the subscribe button. I'm trying to hit 50,000 subscribers this year. That's my goal. All right, that's everything I can say about Coin Cage. And I wanna thank Paul Carnazzo and everyone down at Mental Voyage for allowing me to have this trick so that I could do the review for you. And if you wanna purchase it for yourself, that's where I would go. Thanks guys, I'll see you next time, bye. Hey, would you like to learn a magic trick? You would. Did you know I have a second channel? That's right, I have a second channel where I teach beginning level magic tricks. Magic Channel Card Tricks is a place that you can go to to learn tricks with ordinary items you can find around the house. Paper clips, rubber bands, pens, and of course, decks of cards. I teach beginning level card tricks, simple card tricks, simple card forces that anybody could learn. I also review magic kits. So if you go buy a magic kit from the store, uh, your local Walmart or Target, uh, or you get a magic kit for Christmas, I'll go over exactly what's inside. And I'll even teach you how to perform with some of those tricks that you get inside those kits. Plus, I'm even gonna give you video instruction to very simple, very inexpensive tricks that you can pick up at your favorite magic store. Sometimes you get those tricks and the instructions are just on a tiny little piece of typewritten paper and you have no idea how to do that trick. Don't throw that trick away. Don't put it in a box. Come back to Magic Channel Card Tricks and I will teach you how to use that trick as well. Or maybe you're not a beginner. Maybe you're not a beginner, but maybe you have a niece or a nephew or a little brother or sister that is, that you could share this channel with them. This is a great, safe place kid-friendly, where they can learn beginning-level magic. Make sure you head on over to Magic Channel Card Tricks. Give my videos a like. Subscribe to that channel. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for being a part of Magic Orthodoxy.